Right. Um, I'm not used to talking to such a big crowd. Well, I think it's a big crowd, but I'm going to just do my best. Um, the first time I ever heard of Jesus was when I was five and my mummy took us to Sunday school. I used to look forward to going because you always got a sweetie if you got the answer right. So I left primary school, went in the big school, and the big school, none of them ever went to church or nothing, so you just don't open your mouth. They were all dead cool. So after that, I was a teenager, and then I met and married my husband. And then I had three beautiful kids, and I have ten beautiful grandkids and four beautiful great-grandkids. Oh. So um, I was always saying to myself, right, I have three kids, but there's, there's something missing. You know, you know when, when there's something not there, you don't know whether you want to go on a holiday or you want to move house or it was just something there. And you know what? That's what I'm only realising from last year that that's what it was. It, it was God in my life. And I can't, I can't believe it because I always used to argue with my mum. My mummy was a Christian and she's dead now. But my sister was a Christian too. And they always said to me on a Friday, oh, I wish you would come to church, blah, 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 blah. And I always give reasons. Look, there's no such thing as God, mummy. Stop doing this every Friday. I'm going to stop coming. So she stopped it. And then um, when I went back to Gordon's Port, I was coming out of my apartments, the opening, and one day I ran into my friend Helen. So I was really scared of Helen because I remember <laughs> sitting at the bus stops and I used to sort of cringe in, in the corner and I wouldn't go near because she looks that intelligent and you know, why would you want to be friends with me? So I was talking to her that day and I was very down, I was very depressed and she asked me to go to church and I said, Helen, not this week, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with it. So she said, right, you're definitely going next week. So <laughs> she's the boss in our relationship, she really is. But anyway, um, I came the second time and I just opened that door and there was a lovely woman standing with a lovely smile. Sandra. So that really made me feel at ease. So I asked where Helen was, and I didn't know she was up at the front, but I, I just joined her. In fact, I liked the front. But anyway, um, she started talking to me and going to church and all this here. And then all of a sudden... There was two minutes, there was faith, and there was, what did you call the other minister? Duncan. No, not Duncan, the one that... Tim. Yeah, we were waiting for Elliot, a new minister. So um, that Sunday that I came, and he just blew me away, and I knew, I knew in my heart there's a God. And I never have any doubts. You know why sometimes Elliot says, well, I maybe doubt this or doubt that at times. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> but I never doubt him. He's with me 24-7. And I just love him to bits. And that's basically my story.